trigger mines, so those mines all get triggered. Sup guys, it's Sockpot, and today I'm going to be showing this really cool Ragdoll Engine GUI. It has a bunch of really cool features, so it has all the teleport options, so you can like teleport to the top of the stairs. You can also uh, bomb the whole server, so everybody will just go flying. And if somebody doing the landmine area, you can just set off all the mines and they'll just go flying up. Uh, it's really awesome. You'll see that later on in the video. And you also have, of course, a invisibility option, so you can make the whole map invisible. You can make yourself invisible or somebody else or everybody except you. <laughs> and you can also crash the server. I don't know why, but it's an option. Uh, you can also uh, like place bombs under people. And it's just a super fun GUI. And I'll be showing you how to get it and how to use it in today's video. So hopefully you do enjoy. But anyways, let's just get right into the video. Alrighty guys, so once you're in the first link in the description, you're going to probably see this page. And pretty much what you're going to want to do is click on the free access with ads, free access with ads button. So, uh, so click on the free access with ads button. And once you've clicked on it, it should see this so what you're gonna want to do is click on discover interesting articles so once you've clicked on that you want to wait on this little window for just 10 seconds all right guys so now that those 10 seconds are over what you're gonna want to do is click on the orange X on the top right of your little window so click on that and if there's a green check mark that means you did it right so now what you can do is click on the black continue button right under here and pretty much just click on it it should redirect you to a new page and this is going to be the script setup download page so as you can see ragdoll engine script download and what you're going to want to do is click on download ragdoll engine script and now if you look on the bottom left of your screen you should see an exe and remember this is the script setup not the script so you want to click on the little arrow on the bottom left and then click on show in full. Now you should see where the file is on your PC and what you're gonna wanna do now is just double click on it to open it up. Just like that. Alright guys, so on the first step you're gonna have to click on next. On the second page, click decline and then it's gonna say it's downloading and once it's at 100%, what you're gonna wanna do is just X out. And just like that you're done. You don't have to do anything else other than opening up the TXT, copying the script, and now let me go over to Roblox and just show you how it works. All right, guys. So once you're in the f game, what you're gonna wanna do is take out your executor, and this script should work with most executors. And now I'm saying should. I'm not 100% certain about this, but it should work with most executors you try out, uh, especially Synapse and Kernel. Uh, of course, I, I know many others will work with this, but. Once again, 100% is Synapse and Kernel, but anyways, you want to attach your Executor, and mine is attaching. Also guys, remember that I will be doing a Synapse X giveaway at 8,000 subscribers, so stick around for that, and you have to be an active member, so keep that in mind. But anyways, paste the script and execute it. Now, if you look on the top right of your screen, you should see the Ragdoll Hack GUI, and now we have so let's let's look at the TPs first eh? so we got the location so we have the top of the tower so uh, how do we how do we fall F there you go uh, so that's what that is let's get up we also have tower bottom we were just there we can also go to the dumpster I don't know why we go there uh, we also have the spiral stairs is this at the top of them Wow all right, so here we are at the top of the spiral stairs. I should have probably not fallen down because when are we going to get to the bottom? Uh, so we have also the escalator top, escalator bottom, pool, air balloon, double stairs. Should you get the idea? So that's what all the TPs are about. Uh, so we just have the ragdoll GUI now. So this is the main part of the script, of course. So we have flink push. Uh, it flings people. I'm not sure how, but it just does. Uh, we also have bomb troll, which uh, bombs people, and we have push troll. We have no 
push cooldown, no bomb cooldown. We also have fly. So there we go. Yeah, fly. We can change the keybinds if we want, but for now it's F2 and F3 to stop and start. Uh, we also have our walk speed, so let, we can turn that up. Uh, let's turn it up to like 50. And we can also turn up our jump power, uh, just like that. And that's pretty much all. So that's all for utility. We have main features now. So let's get up. Uh, we have bomb all. Or you know what? Should I show you that, guys? I don't know. Do you guys want to see bomb all? So we bomb the whole lobby. Uh, well, I guess you do. Okay, I gotta turn down my uh, my jump height because I'm jumping way too high and I'm just ragdolling every time I jump. So let's do that. And so I will bomb the whole server. So give it a second, and uh, everybody should start go flying. Yep, just like that. And it's pretty cool that you know that you did that, but. <laughs> Uh, everybody is just gonna be confused why they hit a bomb randomly, especially the people that were climbing the stairs. <sighs> that ain't good for them, you know. They 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 were trying to just climb the stairs. And that guy that guy made it, so congrats to him, I guess. Uh, but anyways, uh, you also have anti ragdoll, so I can't ragdoll. I don't know why you did that, but I guess you can. Uh, you also have trigger mines, so those mines all get triggered. That guy's flying. Wow. Anyways, you also have crash server, which I'm sure you could guess what that does. I'll end off with that. But you also have a drink potion, which is only for R15. And I'm not R15. I'm on R6 right now. You can also find script users, that, which is other people that are using the script. And you can also control click bombs. So when you click control and click, you place bombs. Pretty handy. Uh, you also have... A whitelist so you can whitelist people uh, and so that's pretty much all you can bomb server number two I'm not sure what that does um, more bombing okay and and you can also invisible everyone but you can also target people so um, I don't have a target I don't want to target anyone so we'll just leave it off with that now we have the invisible GUI so you can make the map invisible, you can fix this map, you can become invisible, you can unbecome this, you can become visible, you can invisible all, and so, let's look at this. So, I can become invisible, and as you can see, you cannot see me anymore, I am invisible, and just like that, I became visible again. And I can make everybody invisible, it's gonna lag, but just like that, everybody is invisible. Or most people at least uh, and everybody should be coming back slowly uh, it's gonna be a little laggy because you know it kind of is editing everybody's character and slash player model in the server so it's gonna be sort of lag so that's pretty much that you can also make the map invisible it's gonna lag once again but it is now an invisible map it is really ugly but that's that and yeah, so that's pretty much the whole GUI. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember that I will be crashing the server right now, first off. And, and just like that, everybody will lag out slowly within the minute of this execution. Uh, the server will lag out. Once again though guys, hopefully you did enjoy the video, and if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe down below. Remember, we are trying to hit 10k by the end of the month, and uh, just letting you know. And what what else? If you guys are trying to support me, check out my Patreon down in the description. And you also can get some new gear that I'm using, so like, if you want to know what type of PC I'm using, or what type of keyboard or stuff like that, it's down in the description. And you can also buy yourself one of the items that I'm using if you want. It's really your choice. Uh, but remember that my Synapse X giveaway will be happening at 8K subscribers. So stick along for that uh, because only the active members have a chance of winning. So you got to be an active member if you want a chance to win a Synapse X free giveaway. And remember, make sure to subscribe to my second channel, SockPot V2. Link in the description. And follow my Twitter, SockPots. Link in the description. But hopefully I do see you in the next video. And thanks for sticking along. Bye.